Hello, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be inserting the rest of our components into our assembly. But before we do that, let's save this assembly. So click save, browse to the folder location and save it as a check valve. And click save. So to insert your components, click on insert components up here. And if you have any of the components open in another SOLIDWORKS file, it will show up in the opens document, under the opens document. But because we don't have it open, let's browse to our file location. For this example, we want to insert the bolt. So select the bolt and click open. And to insert your components, all you have to do is left click on the screen to insert it. But another thing you can do is click on this keep visible pin. And what that does is when we left click to insert this bolt, we have another option to insert this bolt multiple times as many times as we want. That is what that keep visible does. So if you have a pin, you have the option to insert any part as many times as you want. So for this example, we just want to insert this bolt one time because we are going to use the component pattern to insert the rest. So click OK to accept. So remember to insert any part left click on the screen to insert it. So another way you can insert components is to insert everything at once. So let's go into the insert components, browse to our file location. So we want to select everything from the cover to the spring. So hold down the shift key and select everything on that row. So we have the list of the cover, discs, gasket, seat, and spring, and click open. And to add everything, all you have to do is just start left clicking. So I will left click to insert the cover, left click. To insert the discs, left click. To insert the gasket, left click. To insert and left click to insert the spring. And that is how you insert components in SOLIDWORKS assembly. In the next lecture, we are going to be talking about mates and how to put everything together to make it function properly. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.